What's up everybody? I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Did you ever have the project in grade school where you wrote a letter to your future self? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's where your middle school or high school teacher would tell you to write a letter to your future self where you would write all of your goals and dreams and ambitions down and then you would fold this letter up and put it in a self address envelope and then you would give it to your teacher and your teacher would then mail it back out to you in 10 or 15 years when you're out working in the real world as a reminder of what your goals once were when you were younger. When you're young and, you know, stupid, you think that you're gonna become super successful, so you say these things like, do things that make you happy, and help the homeless, and, you know, travel the world and do all these cool things, and of course, drive a Lamborghini. And then 15 years later, when you're out and working in the real world, and your teacher mails you the letter, you get a good laugh. Dear future Jaspreet, I hope I become very successful so I can fly in first class. <laughs> Man, I was so stupid. I can't believe I thought this stuff was possible when I was young. By then, we've already been hit with life and bills and those big ideas that we once had were just stupid childish dreams. Well, let me ask you this. Are you crazy for having big dreams when you were young or are you crazy for believing that they're not possible when you get older? As the majority of people get older, we do something called goal adjustment where we adjust our goals based on what our lifestyle is. Like, okay, when I was young, I wanted to travel the world, but my job doesn't really give me that much time off. So let me change my goal to taking one five-day trip every few years because I don't really want to take that much time off of work. I can't really afford that. The alternative to goal adjustment is lifestyle adjustment, where you change your lifestyle to align with your goal. Now, this is going to sound very intuitive, but very few people actually do this. I was talking to a good friend of mine who just graduated college, and I asked them, so what are your goals now? What do you want to do now that you're going to start making money? And their response was, I want to help my mom and give my mom the things that she could never have. That's a great goal. I can relate to that, and I have a lot out of respect to that. So I asked my follow up question, cool, how much is that going to cost you on a monthly basis? I wasn't trying to criticize, but you have to quantify what you want to do so you can actually make it happen. And they didn't have an answer for that. So I said, okay, let's estimate $1,000 a month for your mom. This way you can send her on some vacations and buy her some nice things and do all of that. So then my next question was naturally, how much money are you going to make? And again, they didn't really know how much they wanted to make. They were ready to accept pretty much any job. So then we looked at salaries and we did some simple math. After helping their mom and after paying for their student loans and after paying for their car and after paying for their housing and all their basic expenses, they would be left with literally zero dollars a month. And after figuring that out, they were like, well, okay, maybe I'll just give my mom $500 a month. That's the goal adjustment I was talking about. It's a limiting mindset. Don't do that. Focus on thinking bigger and develop the minority mindset of figuring out a way to adjust your lifestyle to align with your goals. If you want to fly first class and you want to help a whole bunch of underprivileged people and you want to drive in a Lambo, here's some breaking news. Your $50,000 a year job won't cut it. Either will your $100,000 a year job. What the majority of people do is they know that they're here starting off and they would ideally like to achieve these goals, but they don't really have a plan in action on how to go from here to here. So then they just go from here to wherever life takes them and then they end up wherever they end up. Here's what I want you to do. You know that this is here where you are starting and this is what you want. These are your goals and your dreams. There's nothing wrong with thinking crazy and thinking big, but now instead of starting here, start here and put a plan in action to figure out how you can get here by working backwards. I like to think of it like building stairs from the top down. Like, okay, this is the lifestyle that I want to achieve, but in order for me to achieve that lifestyle, I'm going to need to make $100,000 a year or a million dollars a year or $10 million a year. Once you know what you need to do, now you can take a look at your lifestyle. Is this job that I'm at or is this degree that I'm getting or is this thing that I'm doing going to help me achieve my goals? Yes or no? If what you're doing right now is not going to help you achieve your goals, then you got to make a change. I mean, I know it's not easy, but doing the same thing again and again and again and just hoping and praying for magic to come in and help you 
is a guaranteed route to being miserable. Following the traditional path that's laid out in front of you is easy and it's comfortable, but if you keep doing what the majority of people do, you're gonna end up like the majority of people. You gotta be the first person to make that change and the easiest way to do that is to think about what you want in life and then work backwards to see what you should be doing now to help you achieve that goal. What are some other reasons as to why people don't achieve their goals? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.